On this episode of Passport to Jesus, we will take a closer look at the city of Jerusalem, especially as it relates to Jesus during Holy Week. Let's start with the country of Israel. Nine million people live in this geographic area, about the size of New Jersey. Past and current names for Israel include Promised Land, or Canaan, United Kingdoms of Israel, Palestine, the Holy Land, Land of Judah. And Judah gave his name also to the country, Judea, a people, the Jews, and a religion, Judaism. Have you ever been on a road trip in the middle of nowhere and a city or town just popped up? That's what it felt like as we drove from the wilderness into Jerusalem. Four elements were important when building a city. It was to be in a high place. It should have control of the roads. There should be fertile ground. And there should be access to water. Jerusalem doesn't fit into any of these categories. With its location on the plateau of the Judean hills, built away from trade routes, built in the desert, which is not fertile, and with no direct access to water. What is the point of the city? The city of Jerusalem has 72 different formal names. The first name for the city was Shalom, which comes from Genesis chapter 14, verse 18. In Genesis, Shalom was the city ruled by Melchizedek in the days of Abraham. Yerushalam, or Jerusalem, is the most common name of the city in the Bible and the one still used by Jews and Israelis today. This name was used first when David slayed Goliath and brought him to the city after the Israelites defeated the Philistines in 1 Samuel chapter 17. David gave the city his namesake after he brought the Ark of the Covenant and took up residence in the city in 2 Samuel 5. When you look where Jerusalem derives so many of its names, it is clear that this is a city of God and its purpose is solely spiritual. Even the road to Damascus, where Paul was converted, begins at this gate in Jerusalem. The Mount of Olives has a beautiful view of Jerusalem, including the Garden of Gethsemane, Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where Jesus was crucified and died, and many other places we read about in the Bible. It was a place of refuge and rest for David, Jesus, and his disciples. Jesus descended from the Mount of Olives and rode into the city on the day that we call Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week. Today we will explore those events in Matthew 21. This event had been foretold by the prophet Zechariah. As we take a closer look at Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, we can celebrate why he was coming into the city to fulfill God's promise to save us.